for the next hearing staff. And I've got quite a few graduates. So if there's something, if you have written testimony, if you can pass it in and maybe summarize it, I think something. Otherwise, we're going to have to recess it again. Travis Pack. Do you have written testimony? I do not. And in the interest of time, I'll leave my right to testify. Right. Well. You can turn in your testimony if you like and uh, be part of the yes. record. Daryl, is it? Uh, Perry. Yeah. I will be incredibly brief. Uh, Representative Byrd, I do have some suggestions on the bill that I will email to you that I think alleviate some of the concerns. Uh, I think a couple of the sections here could be removed and what I consider to be the main portion of the bill would stay intact. And that would be making New Hampshire a one-party consent state as 38 other states plus Washington, D.C. and federal law are. Now there have been uh, suggestions that people would just randomly film state reps or elected officials eating a sandwich. And <coughs> as a journalist, I have to say that I absolutely have zero interest in filming such a thing. And of all of the journalists I know, I can think of maybe one or two people that call themselves members of the media that would film such a thing, and probably only because they were bored and had nothing else to do that day. Uh, now, Representative Birch, you keep asking questions about Project Veritas. And I realize that the Attorney General's office had said that they are going to investigate, but they have not said exactly what they are going to investigate, and I have to speculate that they will investigate whether or not Project Veritas committed a felony for surreptitiously recording. And that's something that, again, as a journalist, I am interested in because where I'm originally from, Birmingham, Alabama, several of the news agencies there do hidden camera investigations. The one that sticks out in my mind the most was WBRC Channel 6. They had six on your side to where people could call about businesses that were defrauding people, ripping people off, and they would have an investigator go in and catch someone committing fraud on tape. If that were to happen in New Hampshire, that would be a felony. The investigative journalist would wind up possibly going to prison for several years. And that, I would say, is an absolute shame that real journalism is basically illegal in New Hampshire. So we definitely need to become a one-party consent state. And I was reading over some of the statutes in various other states, Arkansas, Hawaii, and I believe Indiana all have very similar wording that says it is neither eavesdropping nor a violation of privacy to record a conversation to which you are a party. So if you're involved in the conversation, you can record the conversation. And that is really the main aspect of this bill as far as I see. Because section one of the bill would change to at least one party. And if you leave that, and I'll just go ahead and summarize the change that I would make if I were to amend this bill. I would strike section two and section five. Hold on a minute. We're not going to be talking about amendments to the bill because the bill, that is not before us. I uh, can talk to Representative Bird afterwards because he's going to be subcommittee chairman. Yes. Uh, what was just stating those two that I would repeal if I were in your shoes, and it keeps the single party consent and then just clarifies that certain things are not disorderly conduct, certain things are not obstruction of government administration. So the bill is good. I think that a couple of tweaks could make it an even better bill and would alleviate the concerns that have been expressed by the AG's office, the Municipal Association, and several other bureaucratic agencies, and I'll take any. Uh, one more thing before I say I'll take questions about malicious editing. I host a radio show, and there are things that get said on live radio that someone could go out and edit to make it sound like I said <laughs> something absolutely stupid. And there's actually a soundboard on, uh, online where you can 
do a Google search for Daryl Perry soundboard, and there are things that I've said that just a little, you know, half a second snippet makes it sound like I'm an absolute idiot. And there are things that journalists write that if you take one sentence completely out of context, it could make it appear as though they're an absolute idiot. So you don't need to say, well, if we can just randomly record public officials, somebody will edit it and make them look like an idiot. Well, all of these hearings wind up getting recorded in some fashion. The discussion on the floor of the house gets recorded. Somebody could go through that and pull out a snippet and make any single one of your state reps look like an absolute fool. So if the only objection is malicious editing, I think that's a very weak objection. So I would urge you to, again, pass this bill and I'll answer any questions. Robinson on this question. Isn't it a little easier to detect somebody editing a recording rather than my brain? Yes. What I repeat from my brain, which is edited? Yes. Thank you very much. And again, in the interest of uh, time, we've got two minutes. I can make mine in that. Oh, what? Excuse me. Kala. Garrett. 